Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a little summer lookbook for you guys. Um, I forgot to film an intro, so here this is. It's just gonna be really quick because I know you guys want to get into the video. Um, all my outfits, I try to make them as simple as possible so that you guys can also recreate them with pieces from your wardrobe in order to look cute for the summer and kind of get some inspo. I hope this helps and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I reply to all my comments and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Bye! For the first summer outfit, I'm wearing a Vivian Tom red turtleneck top that reminds me of the Issey Miyake ones. I just think boxy fits are so flattering and here is a photo of me wearing it. Um, in addition, I'm also wearing matching bottoms also from Vivian Tom with the red embroidery dragon on the back pockets along with some platform boots from Koi Footwear. This outfit is perfect for a casual day out, doing errands or grabbing coffee. For outfit number two, I'm wearing a vintage Lolita red doll dress and it reminds me of Little Red Riding Hood. Um, I'm also wearing white lace tights under it along with some white Mary Janes. The next outfit, I'm wearing these pearl earrings along with this white lace button up dress with lace tights and white Mary Janes. This is a girly and clean fit, perfect for a picnic or chill date. For the next outfit, I'm wearing this hysteric glamour dress paired with this lovely Vivian Westwood heart wing necklace that I got. It's honestly one of my favorite. This outfit reminds me of the outfit that Kiko Mizuhara wore in Hysteric Glamour. It also reminds me of some of the outfits from Fruits Magazine. I paired it with some platform boots from Demonia. Overall, I feel like this outfit is perfect for the summer. It's very casual and comfortable. The next outfit is my favorite. It honestly reminds me of Yukari um, from Paradise Kiss, if you guys know the anime. And I feel like it also reminds me of some Japanese idol kind of stage outfits. And overall, it's just very cute. I wanted to give it a more of a glam look, so I paired it with a sparkling diamond choker along with some handmade pom-pom earrings. For this next outfit, it's more of a punk look, I decided to layer two chokers to give it a more stylish and cool extra look. Um, I'm wearing this kind of mesh top on top of a tank top with patterns on it and I'm also wearing these bondage pants from I believe BPN. If you want to give off rockstar and girl crush, this outfit is perfect for you. As for the next summer outfit, this was actually inspired by some runway images that I saw on Pinterest. Um, I'm wearing this undercover tank top along with a very simple choker. I'm also wearing a full fur skirt that flares out from Alice Awa along with some Demonia platform boots and thigh-high lace tights. The next outfit is another black and white look. I was inspired by some of the punk looks from Nana. I am wearing a Christian Dior tank top along with some bondage pants from IMGia. I also paired it with accessories such as the arm warmers and simple choker. This next outfit is all black. I was inspired by some of the dark academia looks I saw online. Um, some people on my Instagram also requested for it. I'm wearing a top from BPN, a black tennis skirt, and this really cute simple bag from Comme des Garçons. As for the next outfit, it's also from Hysteria Glamour. It's actually a dress, but I turned it into a kind of tube top because I thought the details under it were so interesting and cool. For the next summer outfit, I'm wearing a Jane Marble top. Marple? Marple top. Um, it looks very similar to the Paradise Kiss inspired looking outfit that I wore previously, um, but this one does not come with a skirt, it's just kind of like corset top. Moving on to the next outfit, I'm once again wearing Vivian Tom. It is Year of the Sheep tank top. I decided to pair it with a fancy skirt in order to level up the look and make it look less simple. For this next outfit, I'm wearing a mashed hine halter top that has guang yin on it. It really reminds me of Vivian Tom along with the top that Chihiro wore from Spirit Away, which is one of the reasons why I love this top so much. As for this next outfit, I was actually trying to do the coquette Pinterest kind of look, but I think I failed at it. 
it's all right though. I'm wearing this top from Vivian Westwood and this fluffy cardigan from Oz On paired with this very lace kind of cottage core academia skirt. For this next outfit, I'm wearing one of my favorite cardigans from Hysteric Glamour. I feel like it's so flattering on my body. All over the cardigan, there is this kind of comic print on it, which is so cool. In addition, it's also sparkly. Who doesn't love a little sparkles? I also paired it with this sexy dynamite London skirt. As for the next summer outfit, this is very similar to a previous look. I'm wearing a different colorway of the Christian Dior tank top along with the same sexy dynamite London skirt and I paired it with some cross stockings. Nearing to the end of the video, um, this outfit features a Vivian Tom t-shirt with really cool dragon 3D kind of graphic and I decided to layer it with chokers once again to give it a more punk and cool look. And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, not only did I forget to film intro, but I also forgot to film outro. So here this is. I hope everyone dresses cute this summer and I hope this video gives you some outfit and ideas. Uh, I know it's very late, but it's okay. I'm gonna put fall, autumn, and title to make up for it. Um, stay tuned for our next video and bye!